only in California, of course. 40 men arrested for performing gay sex acts in a public park. But a California judge says he may throw the charges out because the men were discriminated against by the police. Where do you hear this in a moment? Police in Fresno, California have arrested 40 men and charged them with lewd and lascivious behavior for having gay sex in a public park. The sting operation was called Protecting Our Children, and some of the men were found within yards of playgrounds. But California judge James Kwasnick ruled that the charges may be dismissed against the men because no heterosexuals were involved in the sting. Therefore, it is a discriminatory prosecution, or maybe. Outrageous, off the chart, in my opinion. Joining us now from San Francisco is Bruce Nickerson, a criminal defense attorney representing several of the men charged. Discriminatory prosecution, counselor? you believe that? Absolutely, because we presented evidence that heterosexuals were engaging in far more flagrant behavior right out in the open, were never arrested or targeted by sting operations, where the gay sex that was occurring, in particular the solicitations that didn't even involve sex, were only occurring after the cops gave signals as decoys to indicate that they were looking for it. Right, do you and under California law, sir, that is an invalid arrest per se. All right, do you have videotape of these heterosexual couples exposing themselves and having sex in the park? We have some videotape, you bet. You do? And they're lying on the, yes, we do. And right. we're, they are, they're lying on the grass, they're rolling around, they're touching each other's buttocks, they're touching each other's breasts, they're uh, touching each other's genitals, sometimes usually clothed, sometimes unclothed, and, and right, right out so in you the have, of anybody, you and have video they tape. are ignored. Right. Yes, we do. You have videotape. Um, we have investigators with videotape. Unclothed. And some of us have... Uh, mostly it is closed, mostly but in a few cases closed. Un, un, unclosed. Okay. And California law does not distinguish between closed and unclosed. Now, if it's genital, buttock, and female breast touching occurring in a public place under circumstances where you can expect to offend someone, you've broken the law. Okay, and I agree. I don't want, okay. uh, in a public park, any kind of exposition of that sort. Now, I would, agree with you. Would you see that this public park was a gray, gay cruising area? Would you see that? There are certain bathrooms in that repar area and that park that are a gay cruising okay, area. Fine. And there is nothing illegal about gay cruising. Okay, and but that there is illegal, it is illegal to have gay sex in a public park and the police have videotape of it going on. Sir, it is not illegal to have gay sex in a public park it if it not? takes place under circumstances where you reasonably don't expect to offend someone. Okay, now, so in a bathroom, a public bathroom, all right, if I with the door there, closed, with the door closed of your stall, it is not illegal. Oh, well, that's interesting. Public. So I, 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 I walk into a park with my eight-year-old boy. I walk into the bathroom, and two guys, or two, a man or woman, or whoever, can be having sex in the stall with the door closed, and you say that's fine, that's legal. As, that is absolutely correct, because you can't see it, and if you bend down and look over, you violated their privacy. Ah, so you could be prosecuted for saying, hey, knock it off in a public park. Not um, prosecuted. They just simply okay. uh, wouldn't file well, the police. But the fact we mean, of this a out closed, in the open. A, sir, a closed bathroom stall is a private place in California. And under you, California you can, law. You can have sex there in a public park. If you do it under circumstances, sir, right. where you reasonably okay don't you. expect to offend anybody. And this is look, if I walked into a bathroom yeah. and I saw two guys doing it at the urinal, I'd be upset and I'd try to make a citizen's arrest. Because I'd be offended. But, but if I walk into the videotape up, that, and you know, we but talked about we but talked sir, to a that's not what happened. Sir, oh, that's no. not I'm what not happened. Gonna, I'm not going to try the case here, but I will sir, tell you. Sir, that's not what happened. Right. You the cops said, walked in there. You say that's not what happened. To end it. Right. Okay. Because okay. In every, look, sir, I'm going to give you an eyewitness right now. We have a sir, journalist. Every every case, counselor, quiet. Listen to me. In every single case, the person. Cut his mic. Listen to me. We have an undercover journalist. Okay, working for a television station in Fresno, who walked into the bathroom, all right, whereupon he was approached by a gay man who tried to grab his crotch. The police who were there in the bathroom arrested the gay man. That's one of the centerpieces of the sting. That happened according to this journal. Open his mic, you can reply. You want to reply? Certainly. If, in fact, the person tried to grab the cross of the journalist, and the journalist had done nothing of an affirmative nature, that would definitely constitute a crime, right. and he should be arrested. That's but those are not the facts of the arrest. Those are, that is an unusual case. 
that arrest would be warranted, but the other cases all were occurred when the cop gave signals to indicate his interest in the person. It's a sting, just like a prostitute sting. It's the same but, the thing. It's no, the sir. Thing. But the law is thing. different. Sir, the law is different. You can believably play a decoy role on a prostitution thing because it's not a defense to say, I offered you money, honey, because I thought you were a whore. That will get you left out of court. But under California law, a, the same decoy operation on lewd conduct renders the arrest invalid right, well, because we'll you've made the person's belief that you won't be offended a reasonable one, and you have no crime, sir. All right, you're going to lose, and I hope you do, and you should hope you do, because this well, kind sir, of Well, sir, I have one in Santa Clara. I have one in Stanislaus. Right. I have put, one in And you should be very proud of yourself for putting perverts on the street, sir. You should be real proud of yourself. We'll be right back. I am very...